and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about speed and what's the fastest you've gone on your e-bike as you can see there it said my fastest which was on this bike here the Lyric Graffiti it has it there as 44.7 miles per hour I'm not sure when I hit that speed, but so most likely in your display as well, you can look through the information that keeps track of all that speed, average speed. It looks like my average speed is 14.7 miles per hour and the fastest is 44.7 miles per hour. And I'm positive that this, that would have been the fastest I've gone on any one of my e-bikes or any e-bike for that matter. So what is the, fastest that you've gone on your e-bike or somebody else's that uh, were you able to hit 50 miles an hour 60 40 30 20 it's interesting uh, seeing that that I I saw it recently when I was in the display doing some uh, changes in the settings to the uh, pedal assist and uh, I thought wow I don't remember hitting that speed but I, I got it and uh, I'm just not sure when I hit that speed the highest I remember hitting was uh, 39 point something and that was on a slight downhill so I don't know where I would have gotten the 44 miles an hour 44.7 And I'm sure it was probably on a downhill because I'm, this bike is not capable of going beyond about 37, maybe 38 miles an hour. And unless you're on a, a downhill, like I say, I was on a little downhill uh, before and got up to 39, but sometimes you gotta be careful on those downhills. I think there's some hills around here that I could really get it going. I could probably go 60 miles an hour, but there's no way I trust going down a hill that fast, especially when they have all the time, seems like anyway, stop signs at the bottom of that hill. So you want to be careful uh, if you're going down a hill. And other times I've had that and there's been speed bumps and you gotta watch speed bumps along the way uh, I'm not sure what the fastest I've gone on the uh, Grizzly is probably 37 or 38 I'm guessing I know uh, for sure like the uh, the Rad Rover that I have, that one, I've had it up to about maybe 25 miles an hour tops. It's not a speed burner for sure. It's definitely interesting though to look at all those stats when it keeps track of that, like average speed, I'm actually surprised that my average speed is 14.7 miles an hour. I thought it'd be a little bit faster than that, but it, I guess it takes every single thing, right? When you're slowing down to a stop, well, that's slower. They're not, they're not doing it on a, a basis of once you get started then they clock it or whatever it's just from the time you're 
on the bike the whole time and going at any speed at all. So yeah, I'd be interested to see what some of you uh, out there, what have you hit on your bike? What's the top speed? And uh, also, what bike did you do it on? What's your uh, setup? Do you have like a, a 48 volt, 52 volt? What size is your motor and controller and all that? How did you come to that speed? What kind of setup? Not knowing that I hit the 44.7 miles an hour at some point. Uh, I'm pretty sure that that would have been on a downhill somewhere without looking down at my screen. Even if your, uh, even if your display speedometer there is a little bit off, that's still, if you take a few miles per hour off, even 2.7, that's still would put it at 44 point uh, two miles an hour or 40 uh, 42 miles an hour that's still fast so go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below if you uh, want to chime in on what kind of top speed you've had on maybe it's not even your e-bike somebody else's what did you get your uh, bike up to for speed and what kind of a setup did that bike or does that bike have as far as uh, motor and controller and voltage And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.